this is Mark from 2DogRC. This video shows you how to build the Inversion 300 Quad. Here's a setup of all the parts that you got in your kit. And here's the video or pictures of what we're going to install in there. You got a CC3D board, Emacs 2208 motors, 12 amp speed controllers with Simon K firmware, a Mad Dog 2800 3 cell battery, and 6x3 carbon fiber props. Here's the FPV equipment we're going to put in. It's an 800 TVL camera and a Boscam TS58500 5.8 transmitter. There you see a GoPro type camera in there. Uh, I put it on there, but didn't really like it. It was a little too heavy. All right, now let's uh, go into the build. All right, for this next step, we're going to connect the motors to the speed controllers. You can see there's three wires on the motor and three wires on the speed controller. So you just can solder each wire across. And if once you get done, it's spinning the wrong way, then you just need to swap two of the wires. So if you soldered it like this, unsolder two wires, and then swap them, and then solder them. And then the motor will spin opposite direction. As you can see, this motor is an Emacs 2204 motor with a silver knife. It's going to be your front right and back left motor. Front right and back left. So what I've done is I've cut, oh, about a, maybe about a half, a little less than a half of an inch, maybe a quarter inch, of shrink wrap and I put it on here and what I'll do is once I do solder this I'm going to slide this over to cover the connection but not shrink it yet until I'm sure I've got the motor going the right direction. So basically how do you solder? I get this question a lot. Uh, we've got some flux here from Radio Shack. Just go get there and some, some solder. Here what you're going to do is first you turn your soldering iron on and then you're going to take your wires and you're going to dip them in the flux and then you get that on both sides this side and this side you're going to heat up the soldering iron and then you're going to do what's called tinning and take the flux or the um, uh, solder and you're going to touch it on here until it's hot and then it kind of coats this and that's called tinning and then what you'll do is once both of these sides are coated with your your flux both wires the motor wire and the speed control wire that little tip right there you just kind of hold them together and hold this down until they melt together. You'll know you have a good solder connection if this is silver, it's shiny, when they solder together and it's shiny. That means you've done very well and you've got a good connection. If it's dull, it's not a good con connection. So what you'll do is you'll do this for all four. And then when you're done, you just slide your shrink wrap so it just kind of covers the connection, but don't shrink it yet. And what that will do is we can easily undo these if we have to swap them, and then when we're done, we'll shrink it. But uh, you want to wait till it cools down a little bit, otherwise it will shrink. So after you solder it, wait a couple, wait till you're all done, and then slide your heat shrink down. Uh, you might also want to make sure that this is going to fit the right wire length for your quad. Most of the 250 size quads, uh, you can just wire them up right, right like that. Uh, some people do braid them. That's also an option if you want to braid the wires. It does make them shorter, so make sure you have enough room. But uh, if you don't know how to braid, uh, ask your eight-year-old daughter. That works good for your wife, or you can go on YouTube. But basically, just take the outer, go over the middle, outer over the middle, outer over the middle, stuff like that. And that'll actually add a little strength to the wiring. Uh, so that's what we're going to do on this step. So go ahead and solder all four of your motors to their speed controller.